Yes. If, if Michael White said Jodie Foster is in Freaky Friday, then it's not from the 60s or 70s. 76. 76. I've tried Did to you see it? Yes. We watched it when we were little, and I have tried to find it since, and I cannot find it. It's on Disney Plus. Jen does Disney some Plus. quick research. And my night plans. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> y'all, that Do you movie? love it? Yes. Y'all, Lucy leads a wild night, oh, y'all. Wow. <laughs> TV night. Every night, the kids are like, yeah. can we watch a movie? I'm like, well, <sighs> yes, I'll have yes. to go Tonight back. Tonight is the answer of yes. Okay, if Lucy really likes that original, I'll have to go back. And then have you seen the Lindsay Lohan version? Yes, for okay. sure. That one's a, a funnier, lighthearted yes. version. Um, but lots of fun. If you're watching TV tonight, <laughs> Lucy's got the perfect comfort meal for <laughs> yeah. you. I saw Kanaka and I saw Chili together and I thought, yes. <laughs> Yeah, yes, exactly. Yes, so that is what we're making. We're making Kaneka chili. And um, when I was in the lobby, I said, all right, it's everybody's last chance for chili because it's going to be uh, warming up. But um, I heard that it may be a little chilly this weekend. Yeah, it's in temperature. So. Yeah, it goes down a little bit. Um, so anyway, like you said, it, it, I really love chili. I make it all different kinds of ways. And today we are doing um, a Kaneka chili. So in this pot already, I cut up one pound of Kaneka. I just did kind of thin half moons. Mm -hmm. And so this has been cooking for about five minutes. And now I'm going to add in whatever uh, type of ground meat you like. This is uh, ground sirloin. Um, but you could use chuck or round or just regular ground beef. And um, our ground beef is so good. We still, all of our stores still cut all of our beef and all of our pork right. in house. So all the grinds are from our trim. So it's, it's fresh. Um, every day so I'm just gonna cook this for about five more minutes and mm. then we'll kind of keep going yeah let's so, talk about beans. yeah <laughs> beans you, you can put whatever beans you like in your chili today I am just doing a combo of what do we have black hey. <laughs> yeah we are gonna put some beer in here later whichever uh, kind of beer you want we had some uh, natty light in the fridge I'm go. like hey it got me through college so so I guess it's fine for uh, fine for chili. It's fine for chili. No yeah. judgment around here. Um, this looks really good. Lucy, we should mention, I know you probably can't say much about it. Last Wednesday, there was an incident at one of the Greer stores, but that government store is back open? Yes, Question absolutely. Mark? We did have um, the fire at the government in Broad Street location, and um, thank God no one was hurt. Yes, yeah, um, for sure. And of course, there was there was not too much damage. So yes, the, the store worked so hard and so quickly to get get it back open. Our um, district manager for that store is Howard Harper and mm -hmm. he has that store. So he was actually over in Robertsdale and he rushed over there and got everything back open. And that, um, speaking of Howard, I brought him up because he is an amazing district manager. He's been with us for a while and he is huge in the Robertsdale Rotary Club. Yeah. And their rodeo is this weekend. Yeah. So if um, anybody was wondering when the rodeo is, it's this uh, Friday and Saturday, the 8th and 9th, um, over in Robertsdale at their Coliseum. And the Rotary does such amazing work in that community. And like I said, Howard, who is um, our division manager, is such a big part of that. He and his wife, Donna, have been in that Robert Sale community for a long time. So if you are interested in um, the rodeo, go yeah. out Friday and Saturday night. It's going to be lots of fun. We're out of time. When we come back, we are going to continue to add to this Kaneka chili. It smells so good, Joe. Back in the kitchen with Lucy mm -hmm. from Greer's. It's smelling so good in here, Lucy. It is. We are working on our Kaneka chili today. Mm -hmm. So we started with one pound of a of Kaneka, just chopped that up into thin little half moons, cooked that, then we added some ground sirloin. You could use whatever grind you like, or you could of course use ground turkey. And we cooked that for a little bit longer, and then I added our peppers and onions. I just used one red, one yellow, and one orange, and you could use whatever color you'd like, and one onion. So I uh, have those veggies soften. So now we are going to add I have three cloves of garlic that I just chopped up and a couple of jalapenos. And then I'm going to add one teaspoon of ground cumin. Mm -hmm. Just mix that up so the heat can get to it. And then I'm going to add in one can of beer. I told Chelsea we had Natty mm -hmm. Light in the yeah, fridge. You really went with the expensive one. And I told her it got me through college, so <laughs> it's probably fine. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, use whatever beer you like. 
Wait, Wouldn't you've had this fun. can of beer since college? What? It would definitely <laughs> not have lasted that long around our house. I gotcha. Um, so no, I don't know why we had that, but um, hey, no, ju like Chelsea said, no judgment no here. No judgment. But I thought, you know what? A light beer is all you need in here. Right. Whatever beer you want, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add that, and I'm gonna add one cup of barbecue sauce. All right, great stuff. This is a great recipe watching it all come together. So simple, feeds a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. That's always good stuff. So I guess we're trending toward, you know, spring break and things like that right now. Yes, it is so hard to believe that spring break is just around the corner. And um, I mentioned a couple weeks ago, if you are going down to Dolphin Island for spring break, we have a new uh, delivery service that we're doing down there. Cool. Um, so yes, if you are going, we can, um, you just place your order ahead of time, and then, of course, we can have it ready curbside pickup, right. but we also are doing uh, deliveries to condos now where we can go in and, or houses, and set up your groceries before you even get there, and then, of course, while you're there, if you don't want to come all the way off the island to come back to the store, you can place another order. So, if you just download our our free app you just type in Greer's and it's on there or you could just hit our website greers.com slash shop and you can find all that information that's such a great service because a lot of times when you get to your vacation spot or whatever it is and you feel like okay now we got to go make this grocery run and it adds another two hours yes. where you're not actually enjoying your vacation exactly but this is all set up ready for you to go yes so um we've been doing curbside pickup for years yeah. and you know we have delivery options with um with uh, shipped and um, Instacart and um, all of that. But anyway, this is just something that uh, we'll put together. And that store down there also has a big Ace Hardware. So mm -hmm. um, if you are uh, on a, in a house or in a condo, if you need any little parts, <laughs> then you can hit the Ace Hardware store too. All right, sounds great. This is smelling so good, y'all. You definitely need to check out this recipe. And all that's going on at Greer's. Lucy, when we come back with Chelsea, what are you going to do? Okay, I'm going to go drain all these beans. We'll okay. get those added, and then it'll be time to eat. All right, sounds good. I know Chelsea's excited. We are back with Lucy on a Wednesday, and we are working on some Kaneka chili. We are. We are at the end. Mm -hmm. We started with a pound of Kaneka. I just cut that up, cooked that, then I added some ground sirloin. I cooked that, and then added in some colorful bell peppers. You can use whatever colors you like, and some onion. Then we added in a little jalapeno and some garlic, and then we did a little bit of cumin and one beer and some barbecue sauce. Mm. And now I'm going to add in. You can, of course, use whatever beans you like. I just chose pinto, and I just drained them. Um, I didn't rinse them. I just drained these, and then black, and kidney beans, and uh, northern beans. So again, you could use chili beans. You could use whatever you like. And like you mentioned before, similar beans to what you use in um, taco soup. Yes, I like this because this practically is my taco soup mm -hmm. recipe. Take out the barbecue sauce and the kaneka. Um, <laughs> I love taco soup so much, and I know you do too. Yeah. Um, and my husband's like, taco soup again? again? <laughs> like, Get ready, boy. It feeds us for like yeah. three days. <laughs> and it's easy to do. Exactly. So this is a nice twist <laughs> yes, to the taco may, yeah, soup. Make this and maybe he'll, yeah. he'll be okay with the switch up. <laughs> so at this point, you'll just simmer for you know, 20, 30 minutes, however yeah. long you want. And then and um, it will it will thicken up and also create more juices. But of course, you could always add water if you wanted it to be, you know, yeah, more liquidy. Um, and I just want to mention one more time about the rodeo this yes. weekend in Robertsdale. Uh -huh. So it's this Friday and Saturday, March eighth and 9th. The Robertsdale Rotary Foundation puts it on, and it's um, I think their twenty something year. It's been of, a long yeah, time. Yeah, I think the maybe the 24th year. Um, so anyway, if you don't have any weekend plans, then uh, it's definitely something fun mm -hmm. for the whole family, all ages, girls and boys. So definitely um, support them if y'all don't have any plans this weekend. Lots of fun in Robertsdale this weekend. If you want to attend that, all for a great cause. Mm -hmm. um, if someone wants to check out the new ad today, all they have to do is 
maybe download the app or come into a grocery store? Yes, we have, uh, of course, all of our ads break every Wednesday, so we have those printed out at the mm -hmm. front of the store, and you could also, they're online, and if you wanted it to come directly to your email, we email it every week as well, so you would just go to our website, and you can sign up there for the email. Um, so yeah, come out and see us. It's, uh, like we said, just kind of getting ready for Easter and spring break, right. and the seasons are shifting. Um, yeah, well, I got a picture of the Fairhope store this morning, and it's so beautiful. They have ferns and oh. um, hanging baskets out front, so it's definitely that time to get ready for uh, the spring. Mm, I cannot wait. This smells so delicious. We're going to have the full recipe on our website, foxtontv.com. Lucy will have it on greers.com as well. It's always good to see you, friend. Thank you. See you next week.